Today we're going to talk about 10 products that are going to help you with your time on the water. They're not going to make you a better kayak fisherman, but they're going to make you a better prepared kayak fisherman. And that's going to make all the difference when the time matters. The first item is rod holders. It's important that you have a way to store your rods when you're on the kayak. This guy right here goes a long way. You can store three rods in a simple milk crate and some PVC pipe in reality. One of my favorite items is this. I install this on all my kayaks. It's nothing special with some cutting board and some PVC. It mounts right on your little rails with these little screws. You can do it a variety of way. On this kayak, we use a rod holder here has the same adapters across the board and it makes for the perfect way for you to put a rod right here and stop from getting put in the water. It's important that after you net the fish, you use a rod holder like this to stop you from dropping something in the water and losing a valuable reel or just ruining with the salt water. Item number two is a push pole or a paddle. When you're on the water, you're going to need one of these things no matter what. You can't always count on your pedals. And whether it's a push pole or a paddle, I highly recommend you get one to bring with you. If you're in a paddle kayak, I recommend bringing a push pole as well as your paddle. It makes for a great way to push yourself around the flats, and it also does a fantastic job at becoming an anchor. Item three is equally important. It's really going to make the difference between you landing the fish of a lifetime or not. And that's a net. Now this is a Yak Attack leverage landing net. You got a bunch of power right here. You don't got to worry about not being able to pick a fish up. And that's important. It also folds in half for easy storage. And that's great. Now you don't need this net. There are a ton of different nets on the market that are way cheaper. I use this one because, well, I've had it forever and it hasn't let me down yet. So we're going to keep using it. Boom, item number three, get a net. Item number four is gonna go down as my favorite tool of all time, and that's this boomerang snip. Make it in a variety of sizes, some even have a light, but I keep this thing on a carabiner and it's on my hip all through charter season. It's important, it's super easy, it snips through all kinds of stuff like braid and fluorocarbon. I've even cut wire with it offshore at a pinch. These things are cheap, 10 to 15 bucks, and they're always there when you need them. I keep a pair on my pants all season, and I keep a pair attached to my kayak seat. So anytime I need to retie, it's right there. I don't have to use my teeth to reach for my pliers. It saves a lot of time, and it definitely is my favorite tool on the entire kayak. Wow, that was item four. We're flying through this stuff. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for some awesome content. Rolling into item five. It's super important. It's going to stop you from getting your fingers hooked. It's going to stop you from getting cut by teeth. It's going to stop you from having all kinds of problems and make your life way easier. That's the fish grip. Okay, you got to have it, man. I carry two. Why? Because you can attach them right here, like so, and it turns into a stringer. You can hook it anywhere on the kayak for a quick stringer. If you're trying to take a sweet picture of a redfish and you don't want to keep it out of the water, which you shouldn't do, hook that thing on your kayak, leave it in the water, get the camera ready, pick the fish up, let her go. Super easy, keeps your hands away from you know, teethy fish, teethy toothy, whatever you want to call it. Like King Mackerel, you gotta have them, man. They're cheap. You can see these guys, they've been through the ringer. They're still going strong. Moving on. Boom, item number six is a pair of pliers. Now, not any pair of pliers, but a pair of pliers that have a split ring tool on it. This is gonna make changing treble hooks on the water a breeze. Without these things, it's a pain in the butt. You end up trying to use a hook to split the split ring. You might as well just hook yourself and call it a day. Get you a pair of these. You're going to be able to use them to unhook stuff. You're going to be able to use them to change out your treble hooks. They're cheap, easy to use. You got to have them. Item number seven. Item number seven is a D hooker. But why do I need a D hooker? I got a pair of pliers. A pair of pliers isn't always going to be able to do the job. And the last three items are super important. The fish grips are going to allow you to put the fish grips on the fish's mouth. You can shove this in his throat and unhook it. If you're offshore, catch a Spanish mackerel or a king mackerel. You don't want to stick your fingers down and close to the mouth. Something like this really helps you out and stops you from hooking yourself. If you're inshore and you hook a redfish or a speckled trout on a, on a lure or even a hook and they have it way down in their throat, you can slide this in there very easy. Give it a little squeeze. Unhook the fish and let it go. Those de-hookers are an awesome tool. You're not going to want to overlook them because it's going to come a day when you need them. And you're going to be super frustrated that you don't have them. Item number eight is a dry bag, like this right here. This one's got straps everywhere, keep it over your shoulder. I attach to the back of my seat at all times. 
I put clients wallets in here, cell phones, anything that we don't want to get wet, car keys, our camera, stuff that's important, is valuable, and you don't want to lose. I leave a little extra air in here in case it does fall into the water for some reason, which it shouldn't because it's strapped to the kayak, that it'll float. This is an awesome thing to have, run you about 30 bucks. It's worth every single penny. You don't want to lose your car keys because they fell in or they got wet and the key fob won't work. Keep that stuff in mind. Get yourself a dry bag. Boom, flying along, two to go. Item number nine, you ready for it? It's a measuring board. You know why you need a measuring board? Because an 18 inch trout is not a gator trout. This way, when you catch a monster, a monster, this range, not this range, monster, then you can take a picture of it. You can show your buddies with some actual proof and someone might just believe your story. Get a measuring board. It's gonna make a difference and it's really gonna keep you out of trouble with the law. You don't wanna go catch a fish that's 14 and three quarter inches and keep it and be like, oh man, I thought it was 15. FWC is not gonna care. Find a measuring board, find a way to measure your fish, stay safe, stay out of trouble. All right, I don't know if you're ready for number 10, but it is the most important part of kayak fishing and that's a kayak. You can't go kayak fishing without a kayak. Now you don't need a $3,000 kayak. I've caught a ton of fish from a sit inside sun dolphin Aruba tent. I've limited out on trout, I've limited out on redfish, it doesn't matter about the kayak. It doesn't matter about all these accessories. You don't need the most expensive net, rod, reel, or anything. You need to go fishing to catch more fish. Knowledge is way more powerful than any of the products that we just listed, and I hope you keep that in mind. When you get on the water next time, pay attention to the fish, pay attention to your surroundings. These tools will make your life easier that we talked about today, but they're not needed. I'll put a bunch of links below so you can go to Amazon and purchase them. If you purchase anything from the link, we get a small percentage, and I greatly appreciate it. It helps support our business, and it helps us produce these videos. If you guys have any questions, send me an email at nick at And as always, I look forward to you guys booking your next adventure.